What's up guys, JV2017 here, and I am bringing you a new Fallout 4 tips and tricks video. And this time we're continuing my unique weapon guide series with the most powerful unique gun in the game. Just a quick reminder guys, this is your hub for daily Fallout 4 content here on YouTube, so make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and stay tuned on my channel for daily Fallout 4 tips and tricks videos. Today I'm going to show you how to get the Big Boy, which is a unique fat man with one of the best legendary modifiers out there. In fact, this is the same modifier that comes with the Overseer's Guardian, and that's one of my personal favorite weapons in the game. So the big boy has the highest potential damage from a single shot in the game because of this modifier. But unfortunately, it's also the most expensive weapon out there for good reason. So we will be talking about whether this is even worth your caps. The big boy is located in Diamond City and is sold by Arturo, which is one of the vendors there. And it's very simple. All you do is go to Diamond City and buy it. Very, very easy to get. However, it's gonna cost you a little under 15,000 caps unless you have, you know, cap collector or, you know, you have high charisma that would lower the price as well. Additionally, there are some magazines out there that will lower prices as well. Those are the main things that will make this less expensive for you, but it's still gonna be very expensive and the most expensive thing you're ever going to buy in the game. So as you can tell, the big boy shoots an additional projectile with the two shot modifier. Again, the same thing that we've got with Overseer's Guardian. And it's really cool to see when you actually shoot the weapon, you'll see two mini nukes shooting. And the interesting thing is this only consumes one of your mini nukes. And mini nukes are not as rare as they used to be. They were way more rare in Fallout 3. But the fact is, you can find a lot more in this game, especially with the suicider enemies, the super mutants. If you kill those enemies, you can actually loot their mini nuke that they're carrying. But as I explained, they're more abundant. And also, this game like regenerates loot and enemies. So if you've already gotten to a location and gotten a mini nuke, if you wait for a certain amount of time, you can go back and get that same mini nuke. So that's kind of like there's unlimited potential for mini nukes that you can find out in the world. Moving on to modding, the only thing you can change with this weapon is to add an MIRV launcher, which if you guys remember from Fallout 3, we had the experimental MIRV, which was a unique fat man in that game. It would shoot eight mini nukes at once, and that's what it does in this game. Unfortunately, it requires a lot of materials, and it requires Gun Nut Rank 4 and Science Rank 4. You'll need to be at least level 41 in order to get both of those things. However, if you are above level 41 and have these perks, you should totally go for this. It's crazy because it shoots 12 mini nukes at once with only costing you one. So that rule still applies. It's only gonna cost one mini nuke and you'll shoot 12. It's completely insane, totally overkill. Now you may be wondering, is this worth it? Is this worth almost 15,000 caps in order to buy to have this thing that you might not use that much? And I would say, in general, generally speaking, no. It's not worth your time. The big boy's not worth your time unless you are at a certain level in the game where you've got everything you want, you've got a ton of caps, and you just want to grab this thing and go to town on some Mylert Queens or some Super Mutant Behemoths or whatever other enemy. Go to the Glowing Sea, which is what I'm doing in most of this video, and shooting Death Claws, you know, what other kind of, you know, bad things you can find in the Glowing Sea. Yeah, I would say this is definitely a fun weapon to use and just mess around with. But in terms of practicality, it's not the most practical gun in the world. There's not a ton of ammo, although you can find it on suiciders and out in the world like I already explained. But I'm sure many of us get into the habit of collecting some mini nukes and being like, I'm gonna save these things for the one big bad enemy. And then you end up never using them, which is never fun at all. And I'm not speaking for everyone. I'm sure not everyone does that, but I definitely do it myself. And so that's why I don't think this is the most practical weapon, but it is the most powerful unique weapon you're gonna find out there. You may find a fat man with a better modifier, but that's gonna be very rare. It's gonna be a rare thing. And unless you're on a PC and can make your own legendary weapon, it's probably not gonna happen for you. So this is pretty much it. Also, I almost forgot this weapon benefits from Heavy Gunner, which is a strength perk. So if you're running a heavy weapons character and you get all the way to rank five, then you will deal double damage than you would before. I think it's weird where the modifier applies the damage. It might be before the two shot. I'm not really sure on that, but it definitely will benefit this weapon as well. So to summarize my final thoughts on this weapon, I don't think it's the most practical gun out there. However, it's very fun to get when you're a high level, when you can get the MIRV launcher mod on it and you take it to the glowing sea and just, you know, destroy mystic death claws because it will do that it's just that kind of weapon 
So I'd like to know after watching this video, will you go and shell out a bunch of caps for the big boy? Again, I think that's the biggest problem with this thing. It's really expensive. Is that worth your caps? Let me know what you guys think and also suggest a new weapon for me to cover in a future unique weapon guide video. Share all of that below. All right, guys, today I showed you how to get the big boy in Fallout 4. And next time we will cover more Fallout on my channel. So stay tuned for daily Fallout 4 tips and tricks videos. And remember that this is your hub for Fallout 4 content on YouTube. If you learned something new, remember to hit that like button. I would really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe for more unique weapon guides, build guides, and general tips and tricks videos. Talk to you guys next time. Peace.